Hey guys, thought I'd try the SUP downwind foil board and shore break. It was pretty tricky. I thought I would paddle out a kilometer or two and catch a big roller and ride it all the way in. The reward to work ratio was not wasn't there. It took uh, me an hour to get one like way out there that uh, was not in that clip that just played, but the hard part was while you're out there standing up on the 19 inch wide board and then waiting for a good set to come in and spinning or paddling the board 90 degrees or 180 degrees and then paddling onto the wave was uh, pretty tricky. There's a slight offshore breeze and just turning it around keeping standing on it while not moving is pretty hard that being said i think prone uh, could definitely work a lot better than what i tried but sometimes you got to try things to figure it out and that was the case but uh, definitely the way to do it is just on a more traditional style sub foil board or a prone board is catch the wave when it's close into shore and nice and steep, easy to get. And then just kick off of it, off the backside and keep pumping and look for that big set way out there, pump as hard as you can. And then just ride that wave in. Um, you're not paddling, you're up on foil. It's a lot more fun and I got a couple of those, which unfortunately you never get the good ones on uh, on video, but shout out to my awesome wife for getting a couple. Um, what I should have done is just drive 45 minutes and go to this one spot. It's really gets shallow really gradually from way far out and it's all sand bottom. And it's a perfect foiling wave. It They jack up and stay steep for a long time. They break really slowly and then reform. And it's just perfect. So next time the conditions are good, I'll try to do something with that, get a clip. Anyways, hope you guys got out and had some fun. I'll talk to you later.